Hey there, friends, and Dolger here back again with some more Fire Emblem Heroes. This is Ether Raids Week 89 Day 4. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Apologize for not posting yesterday, but I've got a reason. Oh, gee, that's great. Another success that came in, but sandwiched between something that <laughs> counted. It's been just a bad series of events. All my successes have not occurred on the right cadence, so... It's been a while since this has happened, but it's happened, and I actually did, uh, I'll explain what happened yesterday, because I didn't post. I ended up taking a minus 40. So not a great week, so, but this is not a great fight. I have to fight a plus 10 <laughs> Milla, a plus 10 Norn, I mean, this is, this is super serious right now. A Peony, an Air with a trap, disarm trap, and then, uh, of course, a plus 10 Aversa, and, by the way, this Norn has pulse smoke. So, a lot of things going against me right here. I got a Milla I gotta deal with. I got pulse smoke. I got disarm trap. All my tricks are gonna be invalidated. <laughs> this is a very nice team that sets up itself very nicely against what I'm trying to throw out here. Keep in mind my defense team, because it's gonna come into play in the mock battle that we have. It's very, very similar to what I'm running with a small wrinkle. Anyway, let me finish my thought on what happened yesterday. Yeah, so I got a new mesh router network system. So I should be getting much better connection throughout my domicile. And I should have much better transitions between some content here now. I just became too late in the day and I was like, ah, I just can't do it. So hope you understand why I didn't post. But from here on out, oof, things should be so much better. So much better. We'll see if that actually holds today. I've done some tests. It looks... The game's running so much more smoothly. Norn has to take a vantage from that... Sothis, but... Norn just went to town, destroyed my team. Thanks, Katie, to Kel. I hate it. Why couldn't you have fought a little earlier? I haven't seen this one. We got ourselves a good old success here. We've got an Ophelia, an Anna. Every time, every time I ever see an Anna, I just assume it's her bonus season. We've got a Marth. Big regret, dude. I tried to summon Marth. I couldn't get a single one of him. He is definitely the best four-star demote we've ever seen. Considering he's basically a seasonal. Uh, real regrets, because I'm not sure. Well, I mean, technically speaking, next time he comes back, like next year... Because Banner's rerun. I mean, he'll be back. So, i try to snag him then. I'm hoping he'll still be the same four-star thing as well. Okay, so they're gambling, and they're going after Nini, who doesn't actually die. Very strange. Very strange. So, I don't... That poor Marth is just going to die. I don't, I don't know how yet, but he should. Two people have hardy bearing, so yep, that's gone. And then Ophelia versus Ophelia. It's never happened. <laughs> I, I mean, that just seems like that was, a, I don't know what to do with this. I'm just going to try something fancy, and I, I don't know. Don't know how that was going to work, but they gave it a shot. All right, today's mock battle is going to feature our new friend, Sleep. And Sleep had an issue where the mock battle settings weren't allowing me to fight them and that has been resolved so thanks sleep we're gonna load that up and let me show you how i fail to do this with like see how clean that was no loading oh beautiful oh man that makes me so happy so happy so let's try this trivial solution with ike and his harem we've got an idiot it's, again, I told you to familiarize, familiarize yourself with my defense. This is my entire core. <laughs> Except we got a Byleth here with Wind Sweep. Does she come with this naturally? Because I've seen a lot of Byleths with Wind Sweeps lately. And I just don't know if this is a thing. Did, did somebody, like, have a bright idea to do this? Or just, is this just her default equipment? I honestly don't know that much about this unit. But it's gross because it stops an Ike. Because we cannot counter if I don't have more speed. That's important to note. If she's got more speed, I can't counter her. However, 
if we have more speed, we can counter. And I'll show you that that's going to be the solution I, I, I have here. This is going to pierce my Ike. And I will say that you've got, obviously, infantry pulse set up here. This so this is just running serious with Hardy Bearing. That's cool. And then Sonya. I love Sonya. Plus attack Sonya. Ooh, beautiful. Nice looking Sonya you got here. That's actually a great bane for her. I mean, it's not great. She would like the speed, but not necessary. So, again, this looks very similar to what I run. You got more of an offensive minion. So let's see. Let's just go for it. Let's do the trivial option. See if I can tank it. And then I'll explain, like, what I see here that's working very well in a second. So, there's a rally. It happens in the corner. Here's the problem. I cannot counter this lady because she's running wind sweep. And that's just doing enough damage to put me in a position where there's too many reds on green action and Sothis takes it. It's a wind sweep problem. Now, if I ran a null counter disrupt on my B slot and a quicker post, I could see if that works, but that's not what I have, so we're not going to do that. I will just do one more restart because I want to show what's really cool here. And again, it's the thing I always complain about is that there's really no answer for movement skills like ground orders and aerobatics. Now, you can sort of play around the edges. If I brought a Mila here, it still doesn't matter because this Byleth can hit me anywhere. If I come here, she can hit me. If I come here, she can hit me. Doesn't look like she can hit me here, but somebody will move here and then she hits me. So, if I do that, again, same problem. So, you've done a very good job of... Dealing with Ike. I will say, nothing else. See, there's the rally, and then there's the jump, and it's the same thing. Sothis can come by. And I'm just dead enough where the Wings of Mercy and I die to that side as well. And then a bonus, Sonya gets involved. So I like it. I mean, I like it because this is my team. <laughs> so uh, let's see what we can do to stop that. Now, I said the weakness of that really is beating the... Um, where did you go? Did I pass you? There you go, sleep. The weakness of that team is just beating the speed check. Now, you could make this even more dangerous if you had... Um, you can't do everything, right? You can't have a aerobatics and a wind sweep and like a phantom speed to give you a little more speed. Obviously, if you had a plus speed on her, what you're trying to do would be more effective. But let's try this with Ike. And I'll show you what, what falls here. It's a pretty simple solution. If I just beat that speed check... Even with an Ophelia, I mean, a close call unit or repel unit is going to stop the area of effect damage. So, um, it's, you know, air is giving him enough res. You don't have anybody panic any, panicking anything. So, if there's a way you could... This Ninian could try to panic, but it doesn't matter. It's just not going to work. And we'll show you how this breaks down right now. So Ice got full buffs. I take that Sonya. Now here, it, it, it seems bad, but you can't quite beat me, and then I'm going to give enough speed to double you and smoke the team. Barely survive. So this is really close. It's not not saying this is a slam dunk, but... Byleth's left, left going, oh no! <laughs> and Ike just takes the whole thing. Ike is the people's champion. Ike did it. This is a neutral Ike. Nothing special about him. Just using some bonus units, just getting some, just getting some fun time. So, and then I guess I'm assuming you can understand. I get the ether, and because it's just turn two, so that's my solution. Sleep. It's how I take down that pretty gross Byleth of yours. It definitely is a great eye counter. So thanks for showing that. I appreciate it. And again, you picked some good units there. I like them all. I like them. So if you want to be a part of the Mock Battle series, that is the last newcomer I had on the queue for Light. We've got a couple more days left in this season. I'll take one or two more new folks. Send me your, well, find my friend code in the video description, and then tell me a comment that you want to be fought, and I will add you and get you queued up. I always like seeing what you guys come up with. All right, um, so... Let's take a look at the offense. I can talk about what happened yesterday. Man, guys, I found a really gross whale-esque. I wouldn't say it was necessarily a whale. It was a plus 10 Ike with just real, somebody really loves their Ike, I guess. It was a plus 10 Ike, a brave Ike, 
uh, with attack speed null, null attack speed, or lull attack speed, rather, and a threaten attack speed on their C slot. So, uh, <laughs> it was, like, unkillable. I could not kill this thing, and it just kept getting healed, and I ended up just losing Ike, and I took a minus 40, so sorry I didn't record that. I was so upset, like, damn, I finally got a good fight, and uh, it didn't work. So, I don't know what I was doing there. I was talk I can't talk and look through my things at the same time. I can't chew bubblegum and play Ether Raids at the same time. It's pretty hard. <laughs> Let's do it. We've got a tier 22. That's probably good at this point in the season. Maybe they're just not playing. Bunch of gross units. I don't like the Alm, but Alm's got his... What is that? Okay, Alm's got a sorcery blade on, which is weird. So, I guess they're really just trying to bank on Nino. But I don't know how that's going to work if Nino has to come by. We've got a baitable Reinhardt there. They've got a wall! Oh no, with no fortress either. I don't particularly want to engage with the Alm, because Alm could still do some damage to me. But the fact that we have that's probably good enough. It's probably good enough. And then a Nagi in the corner. Okay, better than some things in the corner. The only thing that gives me a concern is that all. How are you getting buffs, Nino? You're just relying on Azur to do it for you? Nobody else is actually giving you... Okay, you're getting a little bit of attack through odd attack wave. Okay, you've got an even... Okay, okay, okay. So I would like to panic that thing. We don't have a cane. This would be a slam dunk for a cane type thing. Let's put cane right there. <laughs> right there, and then these are dead, and I can deal with maybe one alm hit. So this is dangerous. I'm not saying this is dangerous, or not dangerous, rather, we, other than the fact that we have that thing I hate with the corner units. I think I've... It's been a long time since I've lost one. Maybe we'll lose this one. But, hmm, probably not. I would like to see how this would have worked out if I would have had that fortress buff for them. Oh... <sighs> What, what options do we have? Do we want to play with something else? We could play with you, but it's the Alm. It's really the Alm. I could come here with an Edelgard, break this thing, smite up, hit the Alm, hit the Alm again, and then I should be able to win. Let me go after that dragon. Could I get there? I just need an Edelgard here. Nobody else can get to this side. Air breaks that. Do I have a smite with her set up? We've got a reposition. We've got a reposition. Ah, ah there's a smite. Yay, and I had the foresight to have the smite. Oh yeah, let's do Edelgard. We haven't played Edelgard in a while. I think this is probably beatable by multiple teams. Considering Alm is the only thing I'm threatened by. Now, you know, I am going to have to deal with a Nino hit if we don't one-shot him, which may or may not happen. Yes, yeah, so I might lose this. I might lose this to a Nino, just hitting me a bunch of times. But I'm willing to gamble. Eligar's got a lot of reds. <laughs> She's got a red solo and a distant defense. I mean... That's going to be in the 70s. We should be okay. Caden's here, too. I don't know if I'm going to get Caden involved. Can I get Caden involved? I'd love to get Caden there, but that requires Caden to maybe be here to start. So, yeah, we're going to need a turn to set this up anyway. I can help. Can you help, though? Are you getting any buffs? It would just be some res. Which is, I guess, all we need. So maybe Caden comes here. Air steps up. Air breaks this thing. Oh, but I can't do that, too. So maybe Caden needs to come over here. Break that thing. Caden steps on this spot. Edelgard comes up. Naga's in the back. Which, yeah, we're actually shutting down the Azura, which I guess is fine. And then what does Peony do? I don't know what she's doing. Probably want to have her buff someone. So... 
I can get the ether. That's just sitting right there. We do that right now. And then what? What's the last part here? Where does Peony go on turn two? She's going to get hit by that thing. She has aerobatics, though. So within this position... No, she can't be there because Edelgard's taking that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Hmm. Maybe we'll just end turn Edelgard, dance her to give her some buffs. Will that give Caden buffs? Because he's going to be where? He's going to be here? Not quite. I can't do everything, so... Yes. Let's just do what we can. Let's break that thing. Sure thing. Move Caden up. Move Edelgard up. Keep... Like Mila here, because she needs to be the one that smites. And then again, I need you to be able to move too, Adel. It's been a long time since I played with you. Or maybe we could actually use Mila to smite Peony over there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Again, you have smite, right? We'll just dance her, because that's fun. We like dancing. We like singing and dancing. Or dreaming, whatever that. I guess it's a dream. We're not singing or dancing. We're just dreaming together. We're taking a nap, which makes no sense. <laughs> I don't quite get that. All right, Understood. we've set ourselves up for a good turn two. We got panic though. Well, that's stupid. Time to go. That's dumb. Hmm. Okay. Well, that that does change things a bit. I'm just a little under the... I didn't even think about Panic. Well, that's a bummer. Why would you do that, Panic? We can't break the racing because he's a dancer. So maybe we do this, and then Peony dances to break that Panic Manor. We smite up. We break the... We kill the racing. We kill the Alm. Should have Gale Force in play by then. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so we first need to break this thing, and then we'll go from there. Okay, this got a little more complicated because of the panic manner. Do I want to go now or not? Time to go. Because oh. I'm panicked, right? She's she's panicked at the moment. Yes, she is panicked. So if I give her buffs, she's gonna get screwed. But maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay, actually. I'm gonna smite. Time to go. Dead bird, dead bird in one shot. Dead alm, dead alm in one shot. So that's kind of perfect. Now what do I want to do? I think I want to do this. Not quite, because that will panic me. Time to go. Give me attack. But maybe I want the attack lower. Understood. Ah, let's not be cute. Let's just do it. But yeah, but then I won't get buffs. But, Mom, I want buffs! Yeah, okay. Right. This might be a dangerous thing to do, but I'm, cause this is going to give... Edelgard some buffs, and that's gonna, go. that's going to give her minus attack. Stop. I can still beat Alm, though. Your plan. Nothing changes. That's good. But what that does is that gives Caden the ability to buff later. Understood. Let's break the bird. Time break go. the Alm. Get rid of that panic. And now Caden can come break that. He's got full buffs now, or at least partial peony buffs. Lovely. Maybe we talked about this too long. This is not gonna. <laughs> this is gonna be pretty easy. Uh, and then we can just. <laughs> Edelgard can murder everyone. All right, guys, you ready? You ready for the Tootsie Roll commercial? How many? How many licks does it take for an Edelgard to wipe a whole team out? Understood. A one. A two. Understood. A three. Three. Am I too old? Do you guys, do you guys even know what that is? Uh, and then from here, we've got a Mela for an extra bonus time. Let's just get that, I guess. And let Adel run around. 
Ow, what hit me? Do you have boots on? You don't have boots on, so I can back off if I need to. Ow, that hurt, Bolt Tower. What were you doing that for? And that's my plan. <laughs> Hail Guard's fun. Now, again, that was a fortress bonus, so... Most likely, the I don't think we would have killed the Alm. Were we in, were we in range there? I don't think Alm would have died. Maybe... It would have been close. Would have been interesting. It definitely would have been more interesting to see how that played out. The Panic Manor did screw with me. So... Um, what is today? Today's Friday. I don't normally do Saturday videos, but we did take a day off already, so maybe I'll wait for that tomorrow. Maybe I'll actually do one. I don't know. I may or may not post tomorrow, so I am out outside of the uh, light queue. So, again, if anybody wants to fight with me, let me know, and I'll get you featured on, on this video series. That's all I got, guys. Have a great rest of your day and a great weekend if we don't see each other tomorrow. Bye-bye.